Hey everyone, it's Mir, bringing you another Patch Notes breakdown video. We're covering another member of the original World Warriors and Street Fighter V's cast, Dalsim. Stretch Armstrong here has a very strange reputation when it comes to this game. I'm fully convinced Dalsim players have orchestrated one of the greatest rules of all time, trying to convince everyone that he's not so good, but it's hard to believe considering his track record. Might not be winning majors back to back or anything like that, but he definitely doesn't look like a run of the mill mid tier character like we're supposed to believe. Let's see what Capcom thought of all of this and let's look at his changes this patch. Dalsim's steady medium kicks hurtbox has been nerfed. As the patch notes themselves claim, the frame data remains the same, but you now have a couple more frames to whiff punish, as the hurtbox itself stays out until the end of the move. This extended hurt box doesn't appear on block, so even though it is minus 4, it will still be just as safe if it connects, although now with less pushback. Sending Heavy Kick received the hurt box change as well. Now a bigger hurt box appears in front of Dawson two frames before the attack becomes active, making it easier to stuff preemptively. It was just a single frame of hurt box before, on top of being smaller. Sending Heavy Punch got a buff instead, and now has increased pushback on block, and on top of that it rewards Dalsim with a crash counter on a counter hit. It's a knockdown crash counter, so you won't really get a combo out of this, but you'll get some V gauge. You can get a dash up from up close, but a teleport doesn't seem to be guaranteed if they quick rise. EX Yoga Flame now has a longer hitbox, which allows it to combo more reliably from a distance. On top of that, it can now be cancelled with either V skill on hit. This goes hand in hand with the next buff. Jumping Light Punch, Light Kick, and Medium Kick now have extra juggle potential when used from V skill 1, Yoga Float, which lets Dalsim combo them after EX Yoga Flame. They all build a decent amount of V gauge and leave Dalsim at plus frames after the air reset. As an additional change, you can now buffer air normal inputs for 5 frames before you can actually perform them during V skill 1, similar to the input buffer for combos on the ground. This is a quality of life change to reliably get buns out as fast as possible more easily. Yoga Gale received quite a few nerfs. First of all, it now deals 150 stun, down from 200. Second, it now has increased pushback on block. This pushback is triggered even when doing it on a corner opponent, which is unlike many other fireballs. Dalsim is still close after making you block it, but now you can get out of this situation just by blocking correctly, as he will be pushed out more and more with each subsequent Yoga Gale. They also fixed some wonkiness where Dalsim would end up on the other side after performing it very close to the opponent. As the final change, Dalsim now gets put in a special counter hit state after his airborne Yoga teleport. This is the same as his V-Skill 1 and other characters as wall jumps. In this state, you are counter hittable all the way through and getting hit by mediums and heavies will put you in a free juggle state, allowing the opponent to combo you for extra damage. This will nerf usage of air teleport to approach recklessly in neutral or when badly timed on a knockdown, as a prepared opponent can really make you pay for it. Dalsim received both buffs and nerfs this patch, but I'd argue that the cons outweigh the pros. I think these are all fair changes, as Dalsim has to be fought in very unconventional ways and some characters are just not very good at dealing with him. Giving everyone more universal ways of dealing with his teleports and limbs will help in most matchups. At the same time, Capcom threw a little bone at Dalsim players, giving them a couple new tools to experiment with, so it wasn't a complete loss. Regardless, Dalsim's unique playstyle will always catch people off guard, and I'm sure he's going to show up in more tournaments anyway, so we'll see how that goes. Make sure to leave a comment down below about what you thought of Dalsim's changes. More videos are on the way and are coming soon to our channel, so stay tuned if you enjoy content like this.